goes again! Goal! Villa! Five hours later. So perfect blue skies, almost no wind, beautiful sunshine. These are in the conditions for the beautiful game. The backdrop here, picturesque, idyllic. No doubt one of the best days of the footballing calendar and it has added to a really jovial, happy mood in the stands, helping to raise the level of sound by more than a few decibels. Shirt sleeve order, very much a dress code. This must be amongst the favoured arenas of supporters all over the world. It really does have a very special feel to it. Who do you two see making a difference here? Well, I would say the very exciting Ross Barkley. He seems to be able to hit a turbocharged button and release a power that enables him to drive past defenders. And the sight I wouldn't mind witnessing again. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. the way Cash Triori and it's Barkley so so target gets up to head it good delivery but no joy Newcastle can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source Lewis tries to get it forward quickly and the finish that's offside yes it is Fernandes has he found his man Grealish Sansol over to the left oh that's neat he's got options in the box if he gets his head up Grealish oh what a ball yeah, he's fouled him there and it's Sansol Sanson just swings wide. Sanson nearly produced a moment of magic. He knew the strike was pure. Lewis. Lewis. Drives it forward. Now the counter. Same again, same outcome. Aston Villa really are in the ascendancy here and they know they have to register while that's the case. Hoists it forward. Grealish, Barkley, has a goal! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. It's been taken short. A chance to play it in. There's the shot! In he goes again! Well, from right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier.
Saint Villa take the lead, 1-0. Still a fragile lead though, they can't afford to sit on this. Lascelles. Federico Fernandez to play it forward. Wins with a good steal, well played. Just to locate someone up front. And it's half time here. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. But Robert still had its moments. But ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up today. It's the first half compared with your expectations. Here we go again then. Aston Villa carrying a one goal lead. Mins. Barkley. Target. Now it's Grealish. Here it comes. Grealish. And it's Sansol. It's anyone's ball. Shapes to shoot. Wilson. Sanson has made his impact already. This could. It's Barkley. Oh, denied brilliantly. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus goal. And it's played forward. A real chance to break. Hendrick. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Good run. Ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. The crowd appreciates good football all round there. It's being played forward. And the counter is on. Lascelles goes looking. Target. Grealish. Grealish is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and the creator in chief is unsurprisingly being treated as a special case now. Forward it goes. Sansol. Aston Villa leading here by this still precarious one. And the shot! Oh, nearly, but nearly is nothing. Wesley certainly could have and should have made more of that. Time for a change in personnel. Target. Aston Villa need to hold on for a few more moments. He's gone for it! No, not quite. Newcastle making consecutive changes here. And that will be the final act. What a game. End to end, it flew by, and in the end, it all came down to just the odd goal. Your reflections then, Jim? Well, to me, this is a result, Peter, that says an awful lot more than the scoreline suggests. You know, after the goal, the team just settled down and, and looked surprisingly comfortable and didn't really need to work too hard.